In this episode, we talk about Salesforce alternatives for your CRM. Let's dig into it. Salesforce pretty much created the CRM category and continues to lead the way in market share, but that doesn't mean there isn't competition. Here are the top seven Salesforce alternatives and how they stack up. Sugar CRM. Sugar CRM has a few advantages over Salesforce. First, it offers on-premise deployment with enterprise features, whereas Salesforce Sales Cloud does not offer anything on-premise. Second, all Sugar CRM editions come with built-in features for marketing teams, including lead routing, drip campaigns, web forms, email marketing, newsletters, and landing page builders. Most of the marketing tools that Salesforce offers are through its marketing cloud and add-ons like Pardot, Social Studio, Exact Target, etc., which come at additional costs. Third, Sugar has better file storage. Its Essentials plan provides 7 gigabytes of storage, its Advanced plan has 15 gigabytes, and its Premier plan has 30 gigabytes. All Salesforce editions come with 1 gigabyte for data and 11 gigabytes for files, and they'll charge for more. On the flip side, Salesforce has a more robust ecosystem with 2,700 plus apps, whereas Sugar CRM only has 250 plus add-ons. Salesforce Sales Cloud also provides a native sales dialer, whereas Sugar CRM only provides a predictive dialer through a third-party vendor. Oracle CX Sales Oracle has a few advantages over Salesforce. Mainly, they provide out-of-the-box connectors for all components of their suite, whereas Salesforce Sales Cloud users need to purchase third-party integrations and build their own connectors. Oracle also has some neat extras, like providing a card scanner to scan business cards using the CX Sales mobile app. The main advantage of Salesforce over Oracle is that Salesforce Sales Cloud comes with more features out of the box. It provides built-in capabilities to set up sales campaigns, whereas Oracle Sales needs to integrate with Oracle Responses for campaigns. Salesforce provides built-in features to generate certain quotes from opportunities, whereas Oracle Sales once again needs to integrate with Oracle CPQ, and Salesforce has built-in lead scoring, whereas Oracle Sales needs to integrate with Oracle Eloqua. All of those Oracle products come at additional costs. Of course, Salesforce has additional products for those scenarios too, but those are typically for a lot more advanced situations. SAP Sales Cloud. Like Oracle and unlike Salesforce, SAP CRM can be implemented on-premise. SAP Sales Cloud also gives users full access in offline mode, whereas Salesforce Sales Cloud does not. A few areas where Salesforce comes out on top versus SAP are its artificial intelligence capabilities, email functionality, and its knowledge base. AI-wise, Salesforce Einstein can automate routine tasks and is more advanced than SAP's AI. SAP Sales Cloud has an underlying SAP database that uses machine learning to automate tasks. However, in terms of these capabilities in a CRM, SAP is lagging. Email-wise, Salesforce allows monitoring the performance of sent emails using any email app to capture interactions with customers via campaigns. SAP also tracks interactions from emails, but you'll need to input a lot of parameters manually for tracking purposes. Lastly, Salesforce Knowledge offers a knowledge base that can be used to create and manage content. The knowledge base has role-based access and allows users to create and search articles, provide step-by-step -step tutorials, and foster forums for interaction. SAP Knowledge Base only allows the Interaction Center agents to search for documents, cases, and solutions, and email them or send them to customers via chat. HubSpot. Ever since HubSpot introduced its CRM, a natural extension of its marketing automation software, it has competed heavily on price. In fact, HubSpot's free CRM is a foot in the door for people just getting started. Beyond that, HubSpot's Sales Hub includes its more robust CRM functionality, like live chat, landing page creation, and customer service ticketing. 
Overall, HubSpot is more suitable for small businesses, medium businesses, and freelancers than Salesforce. Also, its user interface is somewhat simpler and more intuitive to use. Even though HubSpot's app marketplace offers 500 plus third-party integrations, that pales in comparison to the 2,700 plus apps in Salesforce's app exchange. While quantity doesn't equal quality, consider that Salesforce Sales Cloud is more configurable and includes custom coding access to bend its platform to your will. Salesforce also offers advanced predictive analytics with Tableau, augmented by the intelligence of Einstein AI, which HubSpot does not making Salesforce a better choice for larger enterprises. Pipedrive. Pipedrive packs in CRM value and has the following advantages over Salesforce. Unlimited storage on all plans, an AI-powered sales assistant on all plans, and its inbox on all plans. By comparison, Salesforce Sales Cloud has all these features, but for additional costs. Conversely, Salesforce has the following advantages over Pipedrive. Salesforce's Einstein AI is more advanced and provides intelligent recommendations based on actual customer and sales data. In contrast, Pipedrive's insights are based on past sales performance as opposed to Salesforce's more proactive recommendations. Salesforce can also integrate natively with SAP and Oracle, while Pipedrive does not provide these as native integrations. Finally, Salesforce offers Chatter and Slack world-class collaboration solutions that allow employees to collaborate and share files and data in real time. Pipedrive lacks enterprise collaboration and integrates with software like Microsoft Teams to do so. Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM. Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM has the following advantages over Salesforce. Its AI capabilities come packaged with the CRM, whereas Salesforce's Einstein is an additional cost. Microsoft can also be connected with Dynamics 365 Business Central without needing connectors, whereas Salesforce requires connectors to integrate with ERP software like SAP and Oracle. Lastly, Microsoft Dynamics 365 offers cloud and on-premise deployment options, whereas Salesforce was only built for the cloud. Salesforce has the following advantages over Microsoft, mainly its app exchange, which I've already mentioned many times has 2,700 plus applications, whereas Microsoft Dynamics 365 supports much fewer integrations. A prime example, Salesforce natively integrates with Gmail, while Microsoft requires a third-party middleware to connect with Gmail. Zoho CRM. Zoho CRM offers a lot of the same core functionality as Salesforce and a few cool extras, including a built-in email parser and a built-in card scanner. On the flip side, Salesforce Sales Cloud offers built-in capabilities to create organization charts, while Zoho needs to integrate with extensions to do so. Also, Salesforce Sales Cloud provides a built-in report to calculate win-loss percentages of opportunities. Zoho CRM can integrate with the Zoho Analytics connector to create win-loss reports, but it'll come at an additional cost. There you go, Salesforce's top alternatives. Of course, there are many, many more CRM alternatives out there, but these are just several of the leaders in the space based on reputation and market presence. For the rest of this series, including the full Salesforce review and Salesforce pricing, check out the links in the description. If you're at the point you just want to talk to someone or see Salesforce in action, get a demo in the description or download the CRM pricing guide, a great resource if you're still in the research phase of your buying journey. All right, folks, that's it. That's all. Have a good one. Cheers.